Hello! In this brief video, we will walk through the steps of adding quiz questions to your eClass question bank. Your question bank is a repository of all the quiz questions you have ever created in your eClass course. To begin, start by clicking the Course Management button in your eClass course. Then, in the Question Bank menu, click Question Bank. On the following page, you will see a list of all the questions currently present in your question bank. To add a new question, click Create a new question. In the menu that appears, you can then select the question type you prefer. For the purposes of this video, we will walk through several frequently used question types. To begin, we'll start with multiple choice. After you've selected a question type, then click Add. On the page to add a multiple choice question, you can start by giving your question a name. This will be the designation that you see in the question bank. Then you can add the question text. This will be the visible question prompt that the students will see in an eClass quiz. Then you can set the default point value. This will be the point value that appears when you enter the question into an eClass quiz. If you have a preferred point value for particular question types, you can set that here. Scrolling down, you can then enter the answer options. You can enter the text for each answer choice and its respective grade. Please note that the correct answer for the multiple choice question needs to receive 100% credit. After all answer choices are entered, then click Save Changes. Next, let's walk through the steps of adding a true or false question. When adding a true or false question, same as before, you can enter in the question name, the question text, and the preferred point value. Scrolling down, you can then enter the correct answer for your true-false question, which can either be true or false. After these are entered, then click Save Changes at the bottom. Next, let's walk through the steps of adding a short answer question. When adding a short answer question to the question bank, same as before, you can enter the question name, the question text, and the preferred point value for this question type. If your short answer question will be a fill-in-the-blank style question, enter in a series of underscores within the question prompt. This will embed the answer box within the text. Otherwise, the answer box will appear underneath your question prompt. Scrolling down, you can then enter in your answer options. For the correct answer, please enter the text exactly as you want the students to write it, and then enter in the grade of 100%. You can also enter in anticipated wrong answers with a grade of none, with feedback comments that students will see afterwards. You can also enter in a wildcard response to provide feedback for any other incorrect responses. To do this, enter in an asterisk in the answer field, enter a grade of none, and the standard feedback message you would like all other students to see. When your work is complete, you can then scroll down and click Save Changes. Now let's walk through the steps of adding an essay question to your question bank. When entering an essay question, as before, you can enter in the question name, the question text, and the preferred point value. Then scrolling down below, you can enter in the response options you prefer. This includes what style text box students will have to enter text, whether they are required to enter text for a response, the input box size, and a word count. There will also be options to allow attachments if you would like students to upload files for your essay. If desired, you can also enter in a response template for students and greater information for any other faculty that will be grading these essay responses. After you're done, you can then scroll down and click Save Changes. As you move forward with creating more quiz questions in your question bank, it will become increasingly important to create some organization. To do this, you can create categories in your question bank. Question bank categories are similar to the file folders on your computer's hard drive. To add a new category, enter in the parent category you wish it to be nested under, and then give your category a new name. Then click Add Category. The new category will then be added to the list. On the Questions page of the question bank, you can then add your questions to the desired category. You can do this by checking off the relevant questions, 
selecting the desired category from the drop-down menu, and then selecting the Move To button. Afterwards, all desired questions will appear in the new category.